Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. On today's show, we're gonna step away from our seafood theme recipes and take a look at creating some bread, more specifically a baguette or a French baguette, which we've used in the past for a couple of our dishes, and we're gonna use that here in the near future. So I tell you what, why don't we go ahead and get ourselves started right now. All right, our first step is to bring our yeast to life. And how are we gonna do that? Well, I tell you what, we're gonna get that in a second. Let's take a look at our ingredients, what it's gonna to take to create our own French baguettes. Well, we've got right here, yeast. We've got, um, that's a tablespoon and a half of yeast. I'm using the Fleshman's Active Dry Yeast. This is a four ounce uh, uh, bottle and that equals 16 of these little packets but right here we've got about two of these packets right there so you know whichever yeast you want to use whichever you can find in a store go ahead and use it so we've got our yeast uh, we've got um, salt this is extra fine Himalayan pink salt you don't have to use that that I'm using that because I've got it and well it's kind of neat but just if you've got table salt that's that's perfect um, so we've got our salt right here we've got um, agave nectar this is a light agave nectar if you don't have agave nectar maybe you don't um, you can use uh, honey honey works perfect for that what what that what the sweetness is for is to help the the the, the yeast uh, feed and come alive but back to the agave nectar like I said that's light you probably if you ever seen it have probably seen it in more of the amber or the dark agave nectar so we've got those we've got uh, yeast salt uh, agave nectar which is our sweet and then we've got um, flour I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour right here we've got three and a half cups there's an extra cup sitting over here just in case we might need to use it and we can also use it for dusting because we're gonna have to need our uh, our bread for a few minutes coming up here real soon so I tell you what let's get our um, our uh, yeast to become active so we're gonna come in right here we're gonna add our yeast to our water now you might be saying hey he missed something this right here it's cornmeal it's not it has nothing to do with our recipe we're going to toss that in our pan uh and and when we put our baguettes on top of our pan which is essentially going to be on top of the cornmeal it won't stick so it's really not important but we still kind of need it so now we're going to come in with uh our agave nectar just like this and this, uh, the sweetness here is gonna, is, is what's gonna essentially get our yeast going, just like so. Okay, now, we're gonna come in and we're gonna mix this, just like so, so all of it comes together. And the water is a half a cup and it's uh, warm water. That warm water is gonna get everything moving and, uh, and that, e that yeast um, activated, as they say. So here, let's get this all mixed up just like so all right you know i think i'm going to give this a quick little a quick little whisk there we are that worked perfect now we're going to well come on get off i want all of you in there all of my little yeast buddies in there okay now we've got to let this um sit and it should begin to activate and rise so we want to make sure that our yeast is is active and is alive because we don't want to go through and and mix everything together and come to find out that the yeast is is dead because that <laughs> that does happen sometimes but we'll be able to see that if it's alive to begin to kind of bubble and get frothy and it should rise up so while that is doing its thing I'm gonna come in here with three let's see what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna come in here with our three cups of our flour and we're going to add our salt just like so now you don't want to put your salt into into your little uh, yeast container over here because salt will actually kill yeast sugar makes it you know come alive the uh the salt will actually kill it so i'm going to come in here and i'm going to mix our flour and our salt together to get that salt throughout our flour so I'm gonna put this back on our, uh, let's see if I got right, on our stand.
stand. We have our dough hook. You ever seen it? That's just a dough hook. And lock this in place. I am going to move this up and I'm just going to give it a quick little run, just like so. Why? I don't know, because I could. So we've got to wait for about five minutes and uh, when we come back, we'll begin pulling our baguette all together. Man, check that thing out. <laughs> That's some alive yeast right there, isn't it? Man, holy cow. And oh, I tell you what, <sighs> smells just like bread. So we're ready to now get started on bringing our, uh, uh, our, our first batch of rise together. Yes, we are. So tell you what, we're gonna come in here, get this thing going. I'm gonna put this on, uh, let's see. You know, I'm gonna start it out on one and I'm gonna add <laughs> my jiggly yeast. A little bit at a time, we're just gonna slowly pour it in. Just like that and everything's starting to come together. There we go. Right, now we're gonna grab, there we go, we're gonna get our spatula going, get all that in here, just like so. And it, it's amazing how, how much that yeast rose. You know, that sugar uh, from the agave nectar just does what it does. It's amazing that, that yeast just feeds off of that sweetness. Now, that being said, we have some water right over here. <laughs> Thought I brought it with me. This is a cup of warm water. Now we're gonna slowly add this to everything and we're gonna bring it all together. Just like so. And it's slowly coming in there. There we go. Just like that. All right, now let's see what happens. We may, we may need to add a little bit more water to it. We may have to add a little bit more flour to it. Not sure. We'll see what happens. It all depends on kind of the atmospheric conditions. Now it's, we've, got, uh, we've got some good humidity outside because it's raining like crazy. Um, but yeah, I tell you what, it is, it's slowly coming together. Yeah, looking good, looking good. All right, I tell you what, I think, I tell you what, whoop, now we're, uh huh, got a bad switch over here. I'm gonna turn this off a little bit. We are, we are a little sticky. So I tell you, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna add just a tad of flour. It's like that. I mean, that's might be, oh God, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon. <laughs> Who knows? But we're gonna come back in. We're gonna combine this again. And, want, and I'm using, um, this is on the stir command of the uh, KitchenAid, uh, which seems to seem to work, work well. I've seen some recipes where they say two. It seems to be a little fast for me. So just like that. Let's see here. Yeah, I tell you, it is, it's, and stick into the bowl as it goes around and just just barely you know sticking to it which i think is what we're looking for so let's try this again all right hey it's not playing okay <laughs> live tv okay let's take a look at this let me get my hands let's see yeah i think that's perfect i think that is perfect so here we go we're gonna take this off like so Nope, gotta let it down, just like that. Okay, move this, I tell you what, we're gonna move this out of the way real quick. Move this over here, because we're gonna need this room, because we're gonna have to start doing a little bit of, of kneading. We're gonna need to, to, to knead. So anyway, let's see how we got. Yeah, we're there. So here we go, take that off, almost, oh, eh, maybe. So, put this in here, come in, little bit of of flour I'll tell you what we, right, let's get this thing hey you go up there all right here we go here we go i'm gonna come in here get a little flour on our worktop just like so get that water off okay there you go there we are there we are so now we're gonna turn this out just like that i think we've got all of it yes we do so 
tell you what, you're going to come over here and there, there, and down we go. So, get our hands um, nice and coated with our flour, just like this. Now, we're going to have to knead for about two to six minutes. So, we come down and we pull it back on top of itself, just like so. Then we'll rotate it. Pull this back and down, back and down, just like that. So, so here we go. A little bit more flour. Again, outside is, is sticky, so the humidity's up, so it's a little more sticky than it should be, but I tell you what, I think it's gonna work out just fine. So, here we go. Come in, just like so. Just like that. Come in, turn, twist, push, and turn. Rotate, turn, rotate, turn. And what we're doing is we're going to do this for, like I said, two to, two to six minutes. And we want to be able to push our finger, our thumb, our finger in. And it, sh well, it shouldn't stick, and, but it should spring right back. So we've still got a ways to go. Yes. Right. I tell you what, it's starting to come together. Yes, it is. I tell you what, let's take a look at this. Come in with our finger. And see how it just kind of bounces back? That's what we're looking for, for from our kneading. So I tell you, I'm going to knock this out a few more times. We'll just kind of get all this flour taken care of. A little easier to clean up afterwards. <laughs> so here we are. Okay, I think this is going to be it. And I've been at it for about four minutes. So, you know, not too bad. But yeah, just like that. Now, I'm going to come in here, make a nice round ball out of this and what I'm doing is as as I'm twisting I'm pushing under you know just to kind of sort of make a nice a nice round little batch of pre-baguette <laughs> how's that pre-baguette bread so we're gonna come in with a, um, a metal bowl I'm going to uh, add some oil to that and I'm gonna give this our our dough a good toss in there just like so and the only thing the uh, the, the oil is doing is going to keep it from sticking to the side of the bowl now we're going to come in with a um, dish towel and we're just going to come in and give it a cover so it doesn't dry out and we're going to let this rest for about 25 minutes. What we want it to do is we actually want this thing to kind of double in size. So that's what we're looking to do, just like this. And what's kind of neat is on my oven, there's nothing special. It's just a Samsung oven. It's got a, a bread proof mode on it. So it'll bring that temperature up to about 85 or so degrees. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, you just won't let this thing stand in, uh, in in a warm environment. So I'm gonna drop it in the oven in our bread proofer, shall we say, and we'll come back in about 25 minutes and knock down our first rise and form our baguettes. All right, it has been just about 25 minutes since we uh, begin proofing our bread dough. So I tell you what, let's take a look at that real quick. And what was nice is I was able to um, clean up a little bit. And speaking of cleaning up, I could clean up myself. <laughs> I tell you what, making bread is, you're gonna get messy. So I tell you what, let's uh, let's get this here, right here, and let's see what we've got going on. Let's see, I'm gonna come back. Oh man, I think we got something uh, rather large. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> There's your doubled uh, volume. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come in here and we're just going to knock this thing down, just like that. It's called punching it down. See how it kind of deflates all those gases that are built up. So we're going to come in and now we're going to turn this out. But what's good and warm? So you go that way and that way. So we come back in here with a little bit of flour. Splash it down, just like so. And we're going to turn this out, just like that. We don't need you anymore, so you go over there. So, here we go. We're going to come in and we're going to cut this down into two pieces. No, you know what? We do need this again, David. Jeez. So, let's see. Looks about... That's close enough to the same size. <laughs> so, we can come back in 
cover this up so it doesn't so it doesn't dry out just like that put you over here and now we're going to spread this out into a nice little rectangle just like so okay here we go come on come on here we go so just like this and what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to begin folding uh, the edges back on to themselves and we're going to form a long baguette so we take this stretch it out and bring it back in on itself this side same thing kind of fold it back in on itself and as we do that it's going to kind of sort of uh you know move outwards so we're going to do that just like that pull this back in and with our fingers we're just going to kind of sort of work it back onto itself pull this out a little bit so what we're looking for is about a 12 to 14 inch long loaf now we're at this point you know i'm happy with the shape so i'm going to come in here now on the ends and i'm going to fold that in back on itself i'm going to do the same thing over here just like that okay so not bad not bad now here we go remember a little corn uh our uh, cornmeal we had that kind of was just sitting over there by itself now i'm going to come over and i'm just going to spread this around on top of our baking sheet just like that so now i'm going to come in and we're going to roll our baguette over and put it on top of our cornmeal and just give it a little bit more of a shape just like that now come back in we got one more we've got to do so yes close we're getting close we, although we do have one more rise we have to do now i think i can get rid of you so just like this okay so let's come in here make us a nice little rectangle just like this okay fun there we are number two so here we go move it back over this way move it around flip the seam down and kind of give it a little bit of a reshape push this in now close close i'm going to come in with our knife i'm going to come in at an angle i'm going to cut some little slots slots slices <laughs> Listen to me just like that one two three and this will give it that classic uh baguette look now guess what we got to do again we've got to wait another 25 minutes or so let's see i'm gonna push this back just that way i don't know okay we have to cover it so it doesn't dry out and tell you what in another 25 minutes after it rises again oven's at 450 we're gonna cook it and then we're gonna have some baguettes here real soon so i'm just again i'm gonna kind of get this uh dish towel kind of, will you come on there we are <laughs> just like that so it doesn't dry out i'm gonna put it back in the uh the the proofing oven as we call it and uh you know what we're gonna be waiting for another 25 minutes for one more rise all righty let's see what we have here this is our oh my this is our second rise yes it is check that thing out again they doubled this way definitely in size they kind of sort of stayed about that that's that the length is about good i tell you what it is time to bake these little guys now we have uh, got the oven preheated at 450 degrees you may be saying why in the heck this guy got ice for bread well i tell you what we're going to use this ice to create steam and that steam is going to kind of give us a nice crust on our baguette so i tell you what we're going to go ahead real quick put this in we're putting that kind of in the um in the middle of our oven right now i'm going to come in with our ice i've got oh listen to that oh yeah and that there you go that is awesome that that all of a sudden that steam just released because it was preheated that pan was 450 degrees that was 32 degrees boom we've got steam so i tell you what now we've got 
the way the thing with bread is you're always hurrying up and then you're waiting hurry up wait hurry up and wait so unfortunately we've got to wait again we've got 15 minutes and they should be ready and done all right our 15 minutes is up and man look what we got here holy cow check that out <laughs> we got bread y'all that's not the traditional skinny baguettes we're used to but i tell you what oh can, let's see can y'all hear this hope you can hear that nice little solid top we got some nice crust on it you know we, what we usually will do as you should is put it on a wire rack and let it cool but i tell you what we can come over here get that set in there we're going to move this over here and we're going to see exactly what we have let me shut the oven what we have created yes so i tell you what let's see what do we want to do we're just going to come in here yeah this will be fine just right here oh man here we go yes sir Reed. check that out right there oh man wow oh, oh the smells are unbelievable fresh bread doesn't get any better than that. hey down here we've got another bread video for y'all we make hamburger style buns for a fried fish sandwich right here don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i tell you what until next time god bless and we'll see you soon <laughs>